Howdy everyone, this is Lock Nuts, and you're watching a map tour of Renibu by Ola Haldor. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what, today we get to go on a map tour of Renibu by Ola Haldor. This map is 486.34 megabytes to download and is for PC and Mac only. It does come along with a required mod called Buildings of Norway and that comes in at 234.24 megabytes to download. So altogether you're looking at 720 0.58 megabytes to download this one you betcha you betcha now as of right now this map has no collectibles and you can go ahead and use the river flowing around on it to fill up any of your water containers we have started this gameplay off on new farmer mode that way you guys know what you get if you do start new farmers mode so with that being said guys let's jump right in and take a look at the equipment that you'd be starting with all right, and here is your equipment. Starting off with small tractors, you start off with one John Deere and one right track, an electric tractor, not too shabby. Medium tractors, you start off with one John Deere 7810, not too bad. Front loaders, you start off with a Schaefer front loader, and that too is electric. Vehicles, you start off with one pickup truck. Trailers, you have one and two Welger trailers, not too shabby. Cultivators, you start off with the Amazon Cultivator. Cedars, you start off with the Combo Nordstein Cedar, which does power harrowing and seeding at the same time. Slurry tanks, you start off with one Farm Tech Slurry Tank. Mowers, you start off with one Kverdlin Mower. Tedders, you start off with a Viacon, not too shabby. Wind rowers, you start off with a Schmazzy Wind Rower. Forage wagons, you start off with a Strotman. Balers, you got one potting or impress. Bale wrappers, you start off with a Converlin bale wrapper. Forestry equipment, you start off with an Anderson M116, not too shabby. Front loader attachments, you start off with the John Deere front loader attachment, and that comes along with the round bale forks, pallet forks, and bale spikes. Weights, you start off with one John Deere weight, and to round everything off, you do start off with a schmazzy, schmazzy plow for plowing out snow. Not too shabby. That is the equipment that you'd be starting off with. Now, let's take a look at that map. And here is your map. Now, take a look at this. Look at all these tiny little fields. Look at these tiny, tiny fields. No, this is a 16x map. These fields are absolutely huge absolutely huge as you come along here this is a much better representation of what these look like you'll really be able to see it on the actual uh walking around map tour portion of this but just to kind of go and show you there is quite a bit of stuff happening here now you might be telling yourself well why is it all in one strip but you got to figure this is based off of the Renibu area and this area right here is a river valley so all mountains mountains land where you can actually do a lot of stuff but let's take a look and see what we have here we actually have a couple charging stations one's right over here one's right there one's right there not too shabby and i think that's all there might be one on your main farm but i don't remember off the top of my head but you do start off with a couple of those things in here you do have a couple production type places in here or sell points i should say however you want to look at it you have the sawmill carpentry grain mill and bakery so those are the production things that i was talking about um and there is plan to go ahead and add in the future a dairy a spinnery and tailor shop but it's not on the map as of right now so hang tight with that um taking a look at this here you can see that there's a lot of goofy shaped fields there's not really regular shaped fields here at all it's just kind of how it ends up going now taking a look here at the 
buyable lands. You do have quite a bit of plots on here that you can go ahead and buy. Starting off with the absolute cheapest plot here is Little Old Field 112 coming in at $18,000. That's not too bad at all. You come on up over here and you come to field 127 and that's your most expensive field coming in at $670,000. Now those are the most expensive fields, just fields. The most expensive plot to land is right here coming in at $7.4 million. You betcha. Lots of trees up there to go ahead and harvest and get rich off of, you betcha. But starting off here, you end up starting off with uh, a couple fields here. Uh, 112, 113, a combination. One, or 44, and that is part of your actual farm. And then you have this little plot up here, which does have some grass and some forestry for you to go ahead and do some work on. So taking a look at that, uh, popping around here, you do have some smaller areas. Some of the really tiny fields have been combined to make one. Um, you'll see that all across here, just to kind of save on space and what's actually happening here. You will get individual contracts in some of these little areas. You won't have it on 135 and then have to do all of them. No, it's just 135 is how it ends up working. So kind of keep that in mind as you're out here rocking and rolling. Uh, fields prices, you might be saying, gosh, those are really expensive for the size, but again, this is a 16x map. These fields are actually really, really huge as you get in here and take a look at it. Uh, even field 112, we'll make sure we stop over there and take a peek at that. It's it's a fairly decent sized field. Um, as you go ahead and look here, there are several roads winding around up the forestry areas, so kind of keep that in mind. You have access, might not be perfect access, but you have access up and down. Um, with that being said, guys, I think that's about it with this map here. Let's go ahead jump down on the ground and take a look at this one from a first person's point of view all right guys so one thing i want to do here really quick is i want to turn the map on the corner of the screen so that you can kind of follow along with me as we go on this whirlwind tour now one thing i forgot to mention is you do start off with a production facility and as we pop up here it's actually a grass fermenting uh silo uh, so you can go ahead and throw your grass in there, and you'll go ahead and get yourself some silage. Not too shabby at all. You do start off with quite the stack of all sorts of material. you got grass, straw, uh, some feed for your horses. Pretty darn slick. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. Seeds, fertilizer, all that jazz if you are starting off on new farmer's mode. Uh, if you're not starting on off on new farmer's mode, none of that stuff is there. you gotta you got to get that yourself. You even have some silage bales over there on a wagon. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. Uh, all in all, you do have access to a couple different facilities here. Uh, when you start off, you start off with the cow barn, old sheep barn, and the horse paddock, whatever you want to call that. Um, so you do start off with quite a bit of stuff here. Um, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. One thing I want to jump on here really quick is not part of the map but it is the placeables pack that you had to go ahead and purchase or not purchase but download uh and that is the buildings of norway so taking a look at the buildings here taking a look at your sheds you come over here you do have a nice assortment of sheds uh to go ahead and throw up here so i i personally think it's definitely definitely worth it to have a lot of stuff on here uh one neat thing about this i want to bring this up here really quick is you that's not a good example like this barn right here. You can actually go ahead and change the colors of the barn uh, depending on what you have. Not all of these items have that opportunity, but some of them do. Uh, coming out over here to the farmhouses, there are just tons of options for farmhouses uh, to go ahead and throw down. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, do a little bit of digging. There are There's just tons and tons of uh, extra buildings you can go ahead and throw down on here. Uh, as custom things. Silos, you name it. It's pretty darn slick. So keep your eye open for that. We'll get that off of there. Um, at this point, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and hop in here and kind of take a look around. Now, this particular map has several, several different locations where you can go ahead and start your farm. It's a 16x map, and you can kind of see off in the distance there's a farm over there. Uh, we'll drive past several of them, but this map really does have the option to start off in a lot of different places now there are a couple places on this map that we will go ahead and cross 
that have construction stuff on them. Uh, like building materials and things like that. Those, from what I understand, are going to have buildings at some point, but as of this moment, the buildings aren't there as of yet. Uh, so you can see this spot right here, really close to the starting farm location. It's a nice little placeable area you can go ahead and throw down, or even start your own farm off. Now, I'm going to forewarn you guys. One of the things that I like to do is I like to drive on the fields to kind of give you a better lay of the land, a feel of what's going on, so you can kind of see and judge for yourself what you're getting yourself into. Um, so even over here, you have another little starting farm location. Not all of them have uh, buildings that you can park stuff in or anything like that, but just to kind of keep that in mind. Um, you do have a lots and lots of different starting options. Now, this is, like I said, this is a very large map. 16x map, a lot of driving around. That is for darn sure. If you don't mind driving around, you're fine. If you do mind driving around, eh, it's this might be a struggle <laughs> but i wanted to come down here and take a peek at the water there we'll see this river in several different locations but just it, it's neat it's very very neat looking the water texture looks absolutely great and there are tons of areas along this river where you can actually back up in like i mentioned before park your vehicle or not necessarily park your vehicle but go ahead and fill your tanks up with water the whole river is a fillable location so that is absolutely fabulous um, it's a lot better than having something where you can go ahead and uh, you have to pay to get the water. That that always makes me a little nervous, if you ask me. Um, so as we're kind of driving through here, you take a look at the landscape. Virtually all these trees here, you can go ahead and cut down. I'm not sure how you're going to get to those ones, but you can cut them down if you want. It's entirely up to you. Um, we're going to keep on going around here. And one of the things I do want to make sure that I touch base on here with this is that, um, from what I know, this map is based off of the actual area of Norway called Renovu. Um, so it's a one-for-one uh, -one replica, I guess, is a good way to go about saying it. Now, one of the things that I noticed is when you are on the Seasons menu, uh, I do see that you don't have the capability of doing sugarcane. Um, I don't think you can do cotton. You can't do grapes. You can do olives, but that's about it. Um, so taking a look at these fields over here, kind of looking at these, these ones are nice and flat fields. If you're looking out to get out here and just do some farming, these ones are not too bad to go ahead and look at getting. But kind of keep your eyes open because they're not all flat like this. For the most part, the way that this is laid out, like I was saying before, this is kind of like a river basin. This is where it's flooded out. You have your nutrients, stuff like that. Flatter lands right here. That's where a lot of the fields are. There are a handful of fields on here that are not like that, though, where they are having a lot of undulations, where they do have a lot of bumps and nicks and bruises and things like that, that you may want to look at upsizing your tractor, your horsepower, the, the stuff that you're working with, little bits and pieces, bits and bobs, that sort of stuff. That's where you're going to want to go ahead and really have to go ahead and upsize what you got going on. On the flip side of it, this is a big map. I know I've said it before. This is a big map. You're going to want to probably have some bigger equipment just to be able to navigate a lot of this stuff, too. Uh, I think I can make it. There we go. Winning. That's absolutely winning right there. So this is what I'm talking about here. You do have fields that have a little bit of a rise to them. It's not terrible but it's definitely going to be a challenge if you're going up and down up and down up and down this hill it's definitely going to beat you up it's definitely going to wear on you so definitely go ahead and take a look and see what you're doing with this stuff maybe think about harvesting in a different location plowing in a different uh, style anything like that that may be what you want to do so here we go we got some more fields up here it's kind of a nice little uh, plateau i guess if you will a good way to say it nice overlooking of the valley as you get yourself driving along here um but again you can see a spot right here if you want to throw down a barn or something like that you got a spot there's a area right up over here i want to take a peek at that this up here has uh, a little placeable area as well the map is just chock full of different areas where you can go ahead and start your farm up uh definitely it seems like a great multiplayer map uh, to get you and your friends on to rock and a roll and to do that sort of things 
because there are so many different locations you can actually start from. And it's just so big. Anytime you get yourself on a 16x map, you really have a great opportunity to play with friends and uh, just absolutely make the magic happen. You could even say rock and roll at the exact same time, if you will. But let's head back down here, get down into the valley again, and take a look at some more of these fields. I'll be honest, guys, it's going to be hard to go ahead and hit absolutely everything on this map. It's very, very hard to do that, but it is possible. Speaking of possible, this field right here, remember little old field 12? This is field 12 right here, 112, the smallest, cheapest, 18 grand right there, you betcha. And it comes with a nice little farm right next to you. Uh, as far as I can tell, though, I came over here and took a peek. You can't exactly go ahead and use any of these buildings right now. Maybe that'll change. I really don't know. Uh, but it's just a nice decoration, nice look to the way things are. Um, okay. <laughs> pretty darn neat, pretty darn neat. Uh, from what uh, I remember reading and what I remember seeing, all these houses are pretty much the way they look in real life. So that's, uh, that's another little neat little feature. Um, let's continue on down this way. I want to make sure I have an opportunity to look at some of these other unique fields that are on here. Um, like if you look across there where the trees haven't rendered in yet, you can see how you have those fields that are up on the hill. Definitely up over there, you're going to really want to look at getting something that makes a little bit more sense. Something that uh, is going to be able to get your, your implements up and down the hills. Things like that. You're going to need to have that raw horsepower to take care of things. You just see over there, nice little stone quarry. Nice little spot where it's stuck, uh, not stuck, but tucked up all in that uh, little nook right there. Pretty darn slick. Pretty darn slick. Like I was saying, it's going to be pretty hard to be able to get around and take a look at absolutely everything, but we are going to really do what we can to try and take a look at everything, to see how things look. It may come down to we do a little bit more time flying around. Normally, it's a nice little overview that I like to try and do, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that this time, just because, like I said, there is just so darn much. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. That was a little scary. But as you can see, we've already come to the end of the road right here. I tell you what, guys, give me just one second. We're going to magically get up over there. And just like that, we are on the other side. It's almost, almost like magic. You betcha. You betcha. I wanted to come and take a look down a little bit farther over here because there is a bridge that comes across the river. And it does give you that opportunity to really bridge the gap. I know I kind of drove myself into a little bit of a corner, but it doesn't mean that you guys have to. Uh, wait for me to turn. That's awfully kind of him. And we'll continue on down over here. Probably what we're going to end up doing is parking our vehicle to go across the river here and take a look at the sawmill over here. Uh, let's see. I think this is a good enough spot. Let's kind of leave ourselves right here. I don't think no one will take it. Let's hop on over here and take a look at this. Now, this is pretty darn neat because there are lots and lots of trees on this map. Definitely a, a forestry map. Now, it doesn't seem like it because we've just been looking at all these fields. There are over 100, I see right there, there's over 130 fields on here that you can go ahead and purchase. But there are lots and lots and lots of trees. So... This lumber yard that's over here, the sawmill, whatever it is that you want to call it, is going to be very, very crucial to this map, especially if you're going to be doing forestry. Um, this is where it's at. It really is tucked down at the corner at one end of the map, so if, if that does bother you, I do apologize, but that's where it's at. Um, but not too shabby, not too shabby. You do have a lot of access to be able to get in here, turn around, do the things you need to. Uh, actually following that road back there to get up and around it really isn't that bad one thing i want to do here really really quick is i want to actually reset my vehicle to show you guys where it does start off at and let's go like this reset yes and it does start off at the shop not too shabby not too shabby and right across the road here is actually another starting farm and this one here i believe actually gives you some yeah it does give you a couple different options here 
Let's see, what do we got on the other side here? I think we got a fuel tank. Yep, the fuel tank and the charging station. So you got that going for you. Ah, here we go. I think this is what I wanted to show you before. Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally muted my mic and didn't realize it, so <laughs> I got to come back to where we were at. We actually continued on with the tour. So this is what I was talking about before uh, when I said that there are a couple locations on the map where you're going to find construction sites, building materials. You got a Conex box over there. Porta John, got to love that. And uh, this is what you're going to find in some of these locations. Now, what will end up happening from what I understand is when the buildings of Norway pack gets updated, instead of having to start a new game save or anything like that, these locations right here, like this, this stuff all here, will change from this to what the houses actually look like on here. Which means if you have to update the map or anything like that, you probably aren't going to have to start a new game save. Now, now let's see if that holds true. That's the plan, though, from what I understand. So, not too shabby. This is what you'll end up seeing all over the map. Where you see stuff like this, eventually you're going to find a house. Not too shabby at all. So, one of the things I really, really want to do here at this point is I want to go ahead and drive up some of these roads. Because you see these, these winding paths all over the place. You see it over there. You see it off in the distance over there. There's one right up here. We're actually going to go ahead and find one of these paths, drive up it a little bit, so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Now, some of these little goat paths, as I like to call them, the logging trails, logging roads, whatever it is you want to call it, um, they're not always the most friendly location for you to get large semis up. Horsepower requirements for hauling full loads up here is going to be pretty great, pretty demanding. This is one of the wider roads that you're going to find as you climb up these hills, up these trails, to do your logging. You can see over in the distance, you got some tight turns on there. Those tight turns, you're not going to be able to get a standard semi-trailer up there. It's just not going to happen. You're probably going to want to look at getting uh, smaller logging trailers. Um, something that you're going to be able to maybe link together and make a slight train out of it. Like I said, this path right here, this isn't bad. This is probably the straightest, levelest, unbumpiest, as I just about lose my mind, road, trail, whatever it is you want to call it, up this way. Now, that was done on purpose because that's kind of what these roads are. In, in real life. They're, they're bumpy, they're nasty, they're... <laughs> you're not going to be able to drive fast going up these. So kind of keep that in mind when you're going ahead and doing your forestry. Now, the, the forestry machinery is going to be able to get up here. You can see the trees are pretty spaced out. There's not a lot of areas that are super, super dense with the trees, but there's just lots and lots and lots of trees. It, it doesn't matter wherever you turn. There's a tree. No, nope, there's... Oh, there's another tree. Oh, there's another tree. That one looks just... No, that, no, that is a different tree. Yeah, that is a different tree. There are trees all over this map. It's it's very, very crazy uh, on, on how many there are out here. So, like I said, this is kind of the nicest, evenest path that there is. There are paths that, to be able to get up, you're just not going to be able to use large equipment. I wanted to go ahead and show you this one here, because, like I said, this is the best one there is. And as you can see, it's bumpy, it's slumpy, it's not all that wide. You could very easily, if you're not paying attention, put your truck or whatever over the top and down there. I don't know if maybe going ahead and cutting down the trees and throwing them down the hill or something like that, if that's something that'll work out better for you. I'm not 100% sure, but... You're going to need a lot of horsepower to get up there, or at least the right kind of horsepower to get up these hills. You're going to need to be able to take what you get back down the hills, so that means you're going to be heavy going down these hills. You're going slow. There's, It's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be a pain in the butt. That's what you're going to end up when you do forestry on here, but... The cache is absolutely rewarding. Like you've seen, there's the one plot that is $7.4 million. There's lots and lots of trees on there. You will easily be able to make back that money, and then some, if you cut down all the trees on there. 
Now, if you wanted to go for a challenge, this is my own personal challenge to anyone, cut down every tree on the map. See how long it takes you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think we've come as far as we can this way at this point. I think it's time we go ahead. We start flying around and take a look at some of these different places. Uh, give you a really lay of the land to see what things are looking like. So let's, let's go fly. And here we go. Let's fly up into the sky. And once you get up here, I think you really start to see and feel the, the vastness of this map. I got to turn the speed up as I'm flying here because otherwise it's just, it's going to take a while. It's going to take, take an absolute while here. These fields down here are just absolutely massive, absolutely massive. And they don't, they don't really seem like it until you really get down on them. Like the PDA map shows, it looks like there's a lots and lots of small, small fields here, but it really isn't. There's a lot of large fields on here. Um, now, obviously, depending on what your gameplay style is, this map might not necessarily be for you um, because of the sheer size of it, because of the largeness of the fields. But you do have the opportunity to small farm. At least that's how I like to call it. Little small farming. You got a couple plots over here where you can go ahead and do some damage. You can go ahead and use small equipment on this map. There are enough fields on here to go and do what you want to do. There's also enough of plots of land that are buyable that you can go ahead and scoop up and create your own little fields on here if you want to. It's entirely up to you. You got that location right there. You got uh, multiple locations. You got a location right over there. There are so many places on this map to start your farm off. To get yourself rocking and rolling, it truly, truly is amazing. You could start this map off, play for, well, I don't know, let's say four years in-game, four years in-game, and hit up every last one of these locations, the little, little plots where you can do your little buildables, where you can go ahead and start your own farming, and you would be busy for a long, long time. That's what you got going on here. There, like I said... There are absolutely tons and tons of little locations here, little nuggets here and there. You got your cliffs, you got your rocks, you got your trees, you got the custom uh, foliage that's all over the place on here. It really is pretty darn neat. You have all those placeable areas up there. You got the trees, you got more trees, you got water, and then there's trees over there. Like I said, guys, there are lots and lots and lots of places that you can start off make the magic happen, and just keep yourself rocking and rolling. We haven't even made it around the bend yet. I mean, it, it really is absolutely amazing. Very, very cool. Very, very neat. The detail is just outstanding. I, I can't even believe it with some of this stuff. There's a waterfall. I don't remember where the waterfall is on here, but it is absolutely cool. This location here, the grain mill, this is one place I wanted to get over and, and touch base on here. The cool thing about this little grain mill here is that it also has a purchase point for buying little bits and pieces, various little things. You can purchase your lime right over here. You can purchase your seed. You can purchase your fertilizer. It's a nice little spot, and this is the grain mill, a little purchase point at the grain mill. Now, when you go ahead, you make your flower in here. Your flower actually goes ahead and spawns down in here in nice little pallets underneath here. Kind of a neat little setup. Drop your grain off in there. Flower comes out on the bottom after you've gone ahead and done your business. It really is pretty neat. I think it's a very, very cool setup. Lots of locations to drop your rocks off. Lots of locations to go ahead and build. I, I sound like a broken record, but for crying out loud, that's what it is. Another farm right there to get yourself rocking and rolling on. Starting farm is over there. You continue up here, up the river. We didn't even hit a lot of this stuff up here. It really is just absolutely massive with little nuggets, little pieces all over the place. Another farm to start off on. It just, it doesn't stop. There's a placeable area over here, a placeable area up there. They're just all over the place. Like I said, guys... You could sit here and play for a long, long time 
and still not discover everything. There's another construction site. You're going to have another house there. It really is cool. Really, really is cool. You have one of the sale points right here. It's a nice little uh, convenience store. Pretty, pretty quick. Yoker, I think, is what it's called. Pretty darn cool. You continue on up over here. You have another sell point right up there. A little fuel station, even. It all works out nice and slick. You have the church up over here. Another construction site. Guys, there are places everywhere you turn here to get yourself rocking and rolling all at the same time. It really, really is neat. But you know what? You guys don't have to take my word for it. That's for darn sure. That is for darn sure. Go ahead, download this map for yourselves. And let me know what you think. What are you going to start off with? Are you going to start big? Are you going to start small? Which farm are you going to pick? Who knows? There are so many of them on here. Oh my goodness gracious. You can't name one. And if you guys are liking what you're hearing, liking what you're seeing, go ahead and smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. Hit that subscription. It helps the channel out an absolute ton. Oh, you betcha. Share this with somebody who likes options. Lots of options. And trees. There's your waterfall right up over there. I knew it was over here someplace. Just It just keeps on coming. The hit parade is absolutely there. There you go. There's the waterfall up there. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, guys. Until I see you next time. Maybe it's on this map. Maybe it's somewhere else. Thanks for stopping by.